guest room. <laughs> Mine too. So uh, <laughs> today we're going to talk about uh, the first episode with uh, Super 9, right? Oh my gosh, yes. Ooh, groups A, B, and C together for the first so, time. So stick around. That's what we're going to talk about. All right. I can't remember A, but maybe you can. Oh, you got me the toilet paper or the toilet seat cover on my face. It really collects the grease, you know. <laughs> oh well. Hey, we're live. Welcome, welcome to live television. Are yes. this television? Nah, this is live streaming. Beauty secret. Yeah. All right. You can, you can wipe both sets of cheeks with it. Uh, uh so Greg, two incredible hours last night. Yes. Uh, now I have to be honest. I've been getting up early on the project I've been working on. Yes. And we were watching it last night and I fell asleep a couple of times. But oh my gosh. It wasn't because Whoa. of the show. It's of the show. She's on here. I know. She says hello. Uh, hello. Hello, Paula Pettit. Um, Nick Cannon was sporting a turban again. I know. It, it felt like everything was right in the world. <laughs> if it's like the very first Harry Potter, there's something evil under that turban. Oh, that's right. That's that. That's where he is. Oh, your mom's here too. Hi, Mama. <laughs> oh, um. So let's go on about Snoop Dogg because I really oh. thought that was him. Did you? That April Fool's joke was great. Yeah, you know, I'm not a huge Snoop Dogg fan. Shocking. Uh, so I was like, oh, it's, it's Snoop Dogg, and then yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> well, anyway, so here's nine people. Group A, Group B, Group C, all together at one time. And I have this huge notebook with all these little things of where my notes were. Right. So you start me off. Where are we going? Okay, well, first up was Turtle, because what they did is they did Group A, the three performers, and they picked the weakest one, Group B, and then Group C. And then at the end, you chose from those three <laughs> weakest performers. Oh, Turtle. OK, well, Great. I know who this is. Uh, well, last time we said I said Jesse McCartney, and you said Drew Latchy. Lachey. Latchy. It's spelled. It says that it's spelled that way right here. Latchkey. It just needs a K for like a Latchkey kid. Uh, my mother says, "What the f was I watching? The show is crazy." Yes, I thought your mom was a fan. Is she <laughs> talking about this show or that show? <laughs> I think she's talking about you and me. <laughs> I get it. Um, so Drew Lachey. I think it's him. I do not know what the Super Clue 1013 was. That's the price of the comic book. Right. The Super Clue was um, there's a comic book called The Amazing Adventures of Shellboy. It had a price of $10.13. And it said, this is not another teeny clue, like a teeny bopper, I guess. Oh, well. Or he was big. I don't know. You know what? My sister already knows it's Drew Lachey. I know it's Drew Lachey because of the whole four burgers, because there were four people in 98 Degrees. Right. And Drew Lachey owns the burger stand, just kind of like um, Jenny's husband owns burgers, or the Wahlbergs own the Wahlbergers. So same kind of thing. So it's Drew Lachey. Okay. And I'm going to switch from Jesse McCartney, who I don't know who it is, to Drew Lachey just because I know who he is. Okay. Um, I mean, they're saying it's Chris Evans and shit stuff. <laughs> They were live. And Brian Luttrell, <laughs> which could be. I mean, if it's Brian Luttrell, great, but I don't think he owns a burger shop. All right, who's next? The next was um, <laughs> Kangaroo. Who? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. She crazy. Okay, so one of the clues we got totally blew away from the track everyone was on when she says she's never lived in Australia. Yes, and I thought it was all these Australians like Bindi Irwin and other Australians, especially the, the girl from Pitch Perfect that I love. Oh, I just Rebel, forgot. Rebel Wilson. Yes, Rebel Wilson. Yeah, last time I said it was Iggy Azalea, and you said Rebel Wilson. So. Well, I'm going to say something weird right now. Shocking. I think this kangaroo has really big bazoongas. You said that last time. But I think, I don't think Rebel has big bazoongas, but I do think someone that Jenny mentioned has big bazoongas and it's Amber Rose and she was on Dancing with the Stars. Same oh, character. Yeah, because you, you liked her and I thought she was... She's weird. 
but she has a little brother and that's one of the clues is having a little brother. Uh, she's been put, been put through hell this past year. And this performance is my response, but she super clue was a small kangaroo. And I said, all right, dolls, do you know who I am? So is it, could it be your pussycat doll friend that lives in town? Who's your friend? She was in the pussy, uh, pussy cat dolls. My friend? Yeah. In the pussy cat dolls? Yeah, I thought you had one. Uh, no. No, Nicole Schlesinger. Yeah. Maybe I'm smoking crack. Your singer? No, I don't know. Huh. Oh, well. Amber Rose. She just had a baby, my sister said. So that's the kangaroo that came out of her pouch. The baby roo, whatever oh. you call could be. We call those baby roos. Joey's. Joey's. That's it. Joey's. Baby Joey. Cheetah girl. Okay. It's your cheetah girlfriend. That's who I was talking about. Oh. That was your sister I correcting me. Girlfriend. I don't have a <laughs> the other kind of. Thank you, Paula. All right. Um, who's next? So, who do you guess? Who are you I'm guessing? I'm Amber Rose now. Are you Amber Rose? And who are you? And um, My mom thinks it's Sabrina from Cheetah Girls. No. No. She's um, short. And this, no, this kangaroo is tall. I have no clue. So I'll go with Amber Rose, even though I can't stand it. Thank you, Paula. Um, okay. So next up. Next up. Our friend, White Tiger. Oh, my gosh. Well, okay, White Tiger. The worst singer, but a really great performer. Really jumps around well. I must right. say. I must say. I enjoy him. But yeah, we we landed on Gron Gronkowski a while back. Yeah, because they had the cow skiing on a mountain as a clue. Right, right. One of our viewers pointed that out, and it's like, oh, okay, that totally makes sense. Yeah, cow ski. Okay, and then the clam, and then the swish was the clue, and he was in that uh, music video Swish Swish with Katy Perry, which I know you watch all the time. Uh, I do. We I have it in loop. Actually, I have it in a window right now. Watch. <laughs> Okay. Swish, swish. Um, so, um, and, and then out of those three, he was voted the least best. Yeah. So he, he went to the elimination round. So the next three in group B were who? First up there. was Kitty. Oh, Kitty. That Kitty is so cute. I think that Kitty can sing, too. What do you think? Yeah, I think she did, I think she did well. Uh, her uh, problems she spoke about in her clue packet was just a lot with her self-image. Uh, you only saw uh, darkness and ugliness when I looked in the mirror. She felt out of place on the mass singer. Uh, she lets her freak flag fly. Yeah. And, and she loves she, Christmas. She might be friends with Anna Gastar, is what we got. Because she was yeah. the Christmas tree. Or maybe did a show with her. But remember, astronomy and pirates, and that was all the clues, too. So, and now Robert Redford? I know. So, an actress. So I like the whole thing about being in a Sundance movie. So I think she's, like I have always said, um, Meg Donnelly from my Zombies movies. She's also in uh, American Wife on ABC oh. as a daughter. Well, I still like my idea of Christina Ricci. So. Oh, I like that idea. But I don't see how any of the clues work that way, except for the ghosts, I guess. I don't know. Right. Someone said that Jenny said Vanessa Hutchins, and I would like that to be that, but none of the clues match. Your your sister thinks it's some teen star. Well, that narrows it down. Thank no, you. right. Meg Donnelly is a teen star. She was on, she's on the Disney Channel doing zombies, and the casting director also cast uh, her co-star. Uh, what's um, Dancing with the Stars? Oh, yeah. Milo Mannheim. Yeah, Milo. Oh, Milo was a good dancer, too. Yeah, and she's pretty good. She plays a cheerleader in all the zombie movies. Okay, who's next? Next up was our dear friend, uh, Mr. Banana. The Banana. Oh, my gosh. Well, my sister knows who this is. She said it from the very first day. Yeah. She said Brett Michaels. Yeah. Now, do you believe that? And the only reason is there was a cowboy hat, a blowfish is poisonous. He was in the band Poison. Um, in today's clues, he's a party boy, and he had an injury from the past. I have no idea what that injury was. No. Did he fall on stage, or? I don't know. 
But so, he had a um, one time. Well, I was on Jeff Foxworthy for the longest time, but then the clue said he's not a stand-up comedian. No, so, he's not. But um, I wonder what, um, gosh. My, my wife thinks it's uh, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, okay. Billy Ray Cyrus. Hmm. I don't think so. But my sister is one of those rock chicks from the <laughs> 80s because she has a picture of Bon Jovi still in her garage that's hanging up, like with the hair and everything. And right. um, she thinks it's him. Ooh, look, words come up on the screen. I know. It's almost like I learned how to produce stuff. I love that. Thank you, so. Sir. So look, there's there's even a picture of her. The stage fell on at an award show. Well, the stage fell on him, like the whole stage. Jeez, Louise. Well, that's an injury. That's All true. right, what's next? Because we know banana's got to be him. All right. So banana. After banana was our dear friend frog. Froggy, 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 froggy. The frog's cute. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm still thoroughly convinced who I think it is. Okay, you tell me who you think it is, because I... I think it's Bow Wow, and you said last time it was Lil Romeo. Lil Romeo. So they keep having these 106 clues. Like, do you think that's Power 106 in California, or what do you think that is? Well, someone pointed out in one of our feeds that uh, he did a talk show on FM Power 106. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Bow Wow did. Oh, he did? Oh, mm -hmm. that's... It is. You know, Nick Cannon has a, a morning show on Power 106. I know. I listen every morning. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> so that's that's got to be the 106 part. And the knight in shining armor, I don't know. Do you know what that meant? I mean, from your guy, Lil Bow Wow? Um, that was the clue. Wasn't he, in a, wasn't he in a movie? I don't know. All right. Oh, yeah. He was in some movie. Yeah, some... Was he in a movie with Martin Lawrence when Martin Lawrence was the knight? I don't remember. Oh, perhaps, yes. I'm and in front of a computer and I could look, but I'm not. No, don't be cheating. Cheat. Don't cheat, don't cheat. Let every let the viewers cheat. Um, so my sister says he has frog legs and can dance. I'm hungry now for some frog legs. Luckily, I have a charcuterie from my mother. She sent it from Las Vegas. She didn't send me a charcuterie. I'll send you one if you'd like, but it has everything I need. Cheese, nuts, like all the good stuff. And well, I got the crackers, but and even a little jelly, fig spread. All right. Oh, that's nice. It'll keep you regular. My lunch. Oh, yes. So I'll eat a piece of salami while you talk. <laughs> you don't, yours, you don't know how many times that's happened. Um, so <laughs> next up, next up is Night Angel. Candy, Candy Burris, the end. I knew it from the very first day. You have been on Candy Burst the whole time. Uh, I still like Taraji P. Henson myself, but. I do like that too. And so someone came on our, our train though with the candy thing, didn't they? No, Robin said Tamar Braxton. Right. No one's on the train with us with, with, uh, with candy. Helping others for so long has made spreading my own wings feel incredible. Yeah, she does that. What does she do? She writes songs for people a oh. lot. So she's written like No Scrubs for TLC. Um, I can name a, that's the only one I can really name. <laughs> I was going to say I can name a bunch, but I can't. And go. Um, okay, so I'm going to stick with mine. You're going to stick with Candy Burris, and you're probably correct. Okay, good. Woo, I'm getting them all right, it feels like. Who's next? After that is uh, our friend Rhino. Rhino, this one still confuses me. This was my. I think I, I think I hit it last week. I really do. I think it's David Hasselhoff. He's tall. He's big. Oh yeah. He's he... an actor. He's an actor, not a singer. Well, he is. A, he's an actor and a singer. He has albums out there. Um, I'm, I'm sure he played Vegas. I think I'm. I think I'm pretty spot. Uh, I just went somewhere weird. Ready? <laughs> Because I think the clue was Vegas on this one, wasn't it? With that, the, that was the bonus clue, yeah. Was that the slot machine? Yes. So here's where my mind went. So Brooks and Dunn play with Reba in Vegas at the Caesars Palace. And Kix is six foot two. And Ronnie Dunn is six foot four. And this thing is big. 
So yeah, he's a big dude. I think it's probably Kicks because Ronnie Dunn sings all the main songs in Brooks and Dunn, and Kicks kind of goes la 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 and does the harmonies and some nice things. Um, so I'm gonna go with Brooks and Dunn. One of them. Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn. You've been very vague this season on your guesses. So. No, Brooks and Dunn. That's a it's a band. No, but I like, says it's still that Barry Zito person who okay. was the pitcher for the A's if I can recall correctly, or maybe somebody else. But um, I didn't know what he looked like, so I had to look him up. Very detailed. Does he look like a Reno or a Rhino and have like a horn? And- <laughs> he looks just like that, and he wears pants like that. Oh, so I'm wearing those pants right now. Because he was a baseball player. You know, those were baseball pants from the olden days. Those are cargo shorts. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Woo! Sandy's oh. here. Hi, Sandy B. So uh, your your sister's saying that Barry Zito's wife was Miss Missouri. So that's who it is. Oh, I can't wait to hear who Sandy thinks this rhino is because she usually has big opinions too. I think Sandy was late to our show. That's I'm okay. just saying. Okay, it's the rhino. This one is a, the one I don't know at all. I mean, I, I, I think it would be fantastic if it was David Hasselhoff. I think it would be too. All right. So, um, um, so I'm going to say Brooks or Dunn. Kicks Brooks or Ronnie Dunn. I, I guess Sandy doesn't have a guess. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> we'll just see. We'll just see about that. Last up was Astronaut. Ooh, Astronaut's kind of my favorite ma- male singer on this show. Yeah. How about I, you? Do you well, like it? Um, I hate to admit it, none of them's really just grabbed me like the last couple of seasons. I'm enjoying some of their performances, but none of them are like, oh, yeah, this guy's coming out or this lady's coming out and singing. Andy Burris is singing like crazy. That Night Angel can sing. And this one, too. Astronaut can sing. And I am going to stick with one of the three people that we said. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, which three are you going to stick with? You were on the Joseph Gordon. Oh, the, yeah, that's where I'm staying. Yeah. Okay. And I was on the Skylar Aston train from Pitch Perfect. Right. And the new train is David Archuleta. Who's David Archuleta? He was on American Isle and he was this boy about this tall. Maybe, maybe this tall. And he had like super fun smiles and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. Right. And I just thought he was adorable, but he had one hit song, just one. So, and I think he made a Grammy out of it, but or got a Grammy. And then Hunter Hayes, my sister keeps saying, Hunter Hayes, Hunter Hayes, Hunter Hayes. I just wish I knew who Hunter Hayes was. Mother, do you know who Hunter Hayes is? Because if my mom <laughs> knows and I don't, I got to do some studying on Hunter Hayes. All righty. So, um, so Banana Rhino and White. Tiger King were the ones that went to the elimination round. Oh, and which one out of this group got to the bottom? Uh, Rhino, Rhino. Oh, Rhino, Rhino. All right. Poor Rhino, whoever you are. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're, uh, Sandy is saying, uh, she's saying it's either Hunter Hayes or David Archuleta. Okay, Archuleta. There should be an H in there if it's Archuleta. Oh. Well, I've been saying it wrong with American Idol for years. <laughs> <laughs> to me. Yeah. All right. Oh, you- and, and Sherry Lynn just joined. Oh, Sherry Lynn, thanks for coming late to the party. I have a charcuterie from my mother. See? Salam. Oh, that's a, that's a wicked looking knife. Is that a cheese knife or is that a. It's for cheese, cheese yes. The, today's cranberries. This is how the knife looks. So you don't, you know, you just go. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. All right. So um, moving forward to group C. Sherry, we're in group C. You missed the, the baseball debate of what's his name? Zito? Yes. The guy who makes the pasta. Yes. Ziti. Okay. Go, 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 go. All righty. So uh, it came down to the final three, to these three. And right. And, uh, and the person that was revealed was who? 
White Tiger. It was Gronkowski. Was that everybody? Yeah, that was everyone. That was all nine performers. Oh. Okay, well, we knew it was Gronkowski because the cow skiing, like, yeah. really gave it to us like this. Here you go, people. This is the end. <laughs> 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 so out, of, out of the eight that remain, who's your favorite? Who's my favorite? I think Astronaut, even though I don't know who it is. I think it's Skylar Aston, and every, my sister keeps saying Hunter Hayes, and you're Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Sandy Bannister is um, David Archuleta, and I don't know. Who's your favorite? Like, I, you know I love Night Angel, because I love Candy, because I watch Real Housewives of Atlanta every week, and they're still right. in so. Oh, well, that's nice. <clears throat> now they're going to have a real housewives of Atlanta in personal distancing. So it's all going to be just like this. <laughs> it's all going to be like this. There won't be any fun arguing because they set all that up, which I adore. Oh, our, so the, you have the picture of um, our little tiger up on there. But are you watching Tiger King? No, but I've heard about it. You have to watch it. It is the weirdest show. And I'm from... Yes? I'm from Vegas, and we have some weird stuff. We have Siegfried and Roy with all those animals on their property, but Tiger King, it's weird. Is anybody else watching Tiger King? Because I can go on about Carol feeding her husband to the tigers, because I know she did. Uh, the main guy, um, he has four husbands. He has four husbands, yes. Uh, another guy has four wives. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's train wreck. You got to watch. Oh, well, okay. So you're, you're just to go back on track since you've um, is uh, your sister's asking how long this show is going to go and uh, how many. So they just announced, and we I think I showed it on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the season finale is on May 27th. Okay. And at the, and at, at the end of this month, uh, they're going to do a clip show where they're calling it a sing-along show where you can sing along with your favorite uh, performances so far. Oh my gosh, I hope Sarah Palin comes back so I can sing with her. <laughs> I'm big butts and I cannot lie. Can you believe that was her? She she got so many points for doing that, in my opinion. And it's almost like she'd do anything to get on television. Well, she would. All right. Take hey, down so I can see myself bigger. Okay, so hold on. Sherilyn wants us to do a, a COVID workout video and then we have to do a version of it. I don't, I don't know what that is. But she says, she says, everyone is doing their version. Oh, of the Mass Singer uh, COVID workout video? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Shoot. Oh, well. Sandy wants us to do the sing-along episode live with us. Sandy, as long as you come and sing with us, because I'm not just singing here in my room by myself. Okay. Well, you get Parker to have to come in and sing with you. Oh, he he would do it. He would do it. <laughs> Sam would do it, your daughter. Oh, Sam, yeah, yeah, I'll get my daughter in here and get my wife, and we'll just have like a, a barbershop quartet singing along. I'd say hi to Matt Willis. He's like thinking it was amazing. Not us, but <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, we'll 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 talk about it. I have a date for it. I'll look it up, and we'll try to do a. Uh, oh, Sherry's going to send us a uh, link to the video. Okay, um, then we'll do it. I'll learn it this week. Are you having a seizure, my friend? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, or we could do a Zoom sing along. That's a good idea. Do a Zoom sing along on our page, so all of our Viewers could sing along with us. Yes, I'm in. Just sign me up. Just okay. Happen. Okay, I'll make. I'll figure out the date. I, I, middle of August, uh, April. I'll, 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 I'll sit here and bring the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter brings the magic. Uh, we got a couple more minutes. Did you see? Uh, did you see that uh, they're streaming the Broadway versions of Andrew Lloyd Webber? musicals free i think maybe once a week and they're starting with the joseph oh, oh i didn't see that but that's fantastic i would see that i was in that i know how many how many uh productions of that did you do 
I think I've done over a thousand performances of it. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'm pretty good at it <laughs> by now. <laughs> no surprises in the play for you. No. Uh, that's fun. I like so, that. Do you know the Rockettes are teaching one of their Christmas dances today? Uh, right. Yeah, like, you know, everyone's trying to do those home workouts, and this is one of them. They're teaching one of the Christmas numbers. So, you know, I got to go learn that later today. I did an online tap dancing class yesterday. The whole family did, all three of us. So. Who taught you? A tap dancer. Oh, and you all have tap shoes? Uh, no, he said you could do it in regular shoes, and if you keep getting involved, you can do tap shoes. I cannot wait to see the Wiley family tap number, whatever that happens. If, if only the Osmonds still had a variety show, we could go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me, but I thought it was funny. Well, you tapping is cute. You know, I, I I was taught tap dancing in uh, kindergarten by Mr. Bojangles. Who? No, I, I grew up in Texas, like in Houston. Okay. And uh, one of the PE classes was tap dancing. That we did tap dancing in kindergarten, and in elementary school, uh, we would get together and do square dancing. Okay, both of those things sound so not Texan. But rope what? stuff sounds Texan and tied it up and like. All the legs on the lambs are all tied in one big bunch. That's FFA, and they do that out here. Oh. I, I My sister took dance class, and I just, like, would watch outside the window, and then I joined one day. <laughs> oh, uh, Matt is saying it's the Donny Osmond version of Joseph that they're going to be live streaming. Ooh, he's wonderful in it. And you love Donny Osmond, Greg. I do, James. No, uh, you I appreciate him. I'll put it that way. I think you love him. I, I think you even have probably purple socks, just like he does. I do not have purple socks. I'll get you some. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a couple of minutes. Hey, who? Aw, uh, who? Who is your favorite? Who do you think is going to be the winner and your favorite performer? Yeah, who do you think is going to be the winner, Greg? Who do you think? I'm talking to the viewers. I, I know. know. If they don't like answer right away, I want to hear who you think. Oh, uh, it sounds like your uh, sister's still bitter about something. That she took t dance classes and then quit. She, yeah, I hijacked them. I think at the time it was like you can only afford so much. So, you know, your parents can only afford to right, right, right. Many lessons. Like you put yours in some things and then you have to cut back on certain things. So I was excelling at the dance. So that's where I went. Well, yeah, I, baseball, <laughs> just so y'all know. <laughs> I didn't quit. I went through the whole season. I just didn't play very much. And I got this trophy called Most Improved. And I think that's just an excuse to go, this is what you get. Oh, uh, look, we're getting votes right now. Oh, Kitty or Angel? Ah, you think a lady, Sandy. I think, I think, I think, I think, I hope it's Dark Angel because. Uh, she needs a win because she didn't win on Big Brother. She's, you know, always been in the background. Ooh, Frog, huh, Sherry? Okay. Okay. I see that. Who is Frog again? Who we uh, it's a Bow Wow. Oh, a Bow Wow. No Bow Wow. Um, and Kitty, we think is, who we think that is? Oh, I think that's Meg Donnelly from. Uh, All right. Who do you think it is? I think it's uh, Christina Ritchie. <laughs> no, no. Mm -mm. Anyway. Yes, my mom. Well, your mom's correcting you. I was in Little League, and I would rather dance. They did put me in left field, if that's funny. <laughs> I just sit there and, like, spin and whatever in left field and hope the ball never came out there. Right. Oh, and uh, Sandy is, oh, Sandy has a new game, is, um... oh my gosh, how do we watch for Jenny's boobs to come out? Oh, Lordy. Now, I noticed she shined them with some kind of shimmery sauce. Did you guys see the shimmery sauce on there? Like the shimmery chest plate sauce. 
do not get me talking about shimmery sauce on, on someone's breast. That's a completely <laughs> different type of thing. Shimmery sauce all over them. Uh, <laughs> and she man. would stand up to go, no, 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 my opinion, shimmery sauce. We were doing so well till Sandy took us in this direction. I, I mean, I was in the turban. I was into the turban for a minute with Nick Cannon. And now, and I was hoping that was Snoop because that would be funny because he would just say some crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, well, maybe Martha Stewart will be on. I enjoy her now, too. I have appreciation for her now that I'm trying to home cook. Oh, yeah. We home cook. We, we are down to ordering out uh, twice a week. That's it. Oh, good for you. Well, I like everybody's guesses. I hope um, I'll try and remember who everybody thought should win so I could harass you when they uh, get voted off. Sherry and the frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way to endear yourself to our viewers. <laughs> so anyway, hey, uh, thanks for watching us. I hope you're doing well in this current situation. And, oh, uh, it's good to see you, Greg. <laughs> it's good to see you, Jamesy. Um, I miss getting together every week with you, but, you know, this is... I know. It helps. We lunch time together, and it's really nice. I know. I feel like I need to go and just sit outside of... Uh, Honey baked ham, and uh, <laughs> I know I miss Fancy Nancy. I know. I hope they're doing okay, and um, I hope you guys are doing well. The viewers, take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Uh, if you're in LA, you're supposed to be wearing a mask whenever you're out now. Mm -hmm. Perfect for the mask singer. And uh, Ooh, you can oh, have one right here. Here, uh, oh, I got a mask. Oh, put your mask on. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Put your mask. Oh. When I when I go grocery shopping next, I'll just put this on. Oh my gosh, that's perfect! <laughs> it actually matches your outfit too. Dang, <laughs> I love that. Okay, alrighty. Well, everyone, take care of yourself. We'll be back here next week, and uh, take care of yourself. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. We'll see you later. <laughs>